out. So I've started doing my, my calf raises before my actual workout and it is literally a game changer. I'm doing 10 on one leg, 10 on the other, and then I'm doing 20 with body weight. But definitely try it out if you haven't. Doing your calves first is for sure a game changer. Starting my workout with my heavier weight and I'm working my way down to something lighter. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my weight prior to the There's no like, I don't know. There's no predetermined referee if you have to train it. Put my gloves on. I need to put my gloves on and keep the bar from sliding. A very common question people ask in the gym or about the gym is how many rep ranges you should train at. And there's really no set amount of rep ranges to train at. You really wanna hit every rep range. So as you can see in my routine today, my reps are starting, for, for some of my exercises, my reps are starting um, low and then I'm working my way up to higher reps. So for my back squats, I did four sets, but I started with four sets, four to eight reps, and then I worked my way up to six to eight eight to 10, and then I think I did 12 to 15 after that. It's definitely a structure for, a good structure for anybody who doesn't have a lot of time to spend in the gym. I'm exhausted, y'all. I really don't feel that great today. I have a headache that I've been dealing with. Headache to headache, so it makes it hard to function, but let's do our next exercise. What we're gonna do next is goblet squat super set with alternating step ups. When I do goblet squat, that's how I pick up the weight. I usually sit it on something and then I just drop down into a squat position. You do not want to lift with your back. You want to lift with your feet like you're doing a squat, of course. Y'all have one more set of straight leg cut
Yeah.